So today I'm talking about a P0402 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the P0402 code? Well, it's an exhaust gas recirculation flow excessive detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically engines have what's called an EGR valve, and this is for emissions. The EGR valve feeds exhaust gases back up into the intake manifold so that these exhaust gases go back into the engine to be burnt off. And this helps to lower the combustion temperature inside the engine, which reduces nitrogen oxide, which is for emissions. But when you get a P0402 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of issue going on here. And mainly that this flow coming from the exhaust going into the intake is excessive, so that there's too much going into the intake for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And one thing to note about these EGR valves is that they can't be different designs. They can't be controlled differently. Older vehicles quite often were controlled by vacuum. Newer vehicles are going to be electronically controlled. So it is a good idea that if you are going to work on your vehicle and the EGR valve to get a diagram to know what's going on with it, where it's located, how it's being controlled, different things like this. So basically keep in mind that there is different designs for the EGR valve. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0402 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And basically the sensor that's reporting back to the computer what the pressure is and what that EGR valve is doing has gone bad. And it's reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Depending on the vehicle, it could be different which sensor is reporting this information back to the computer. And this is going to be like a differential pressure sensor or a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor. If the differential pressure sensor or another sensor goes bad, then that's gonna cause issues because basically the computer's getting the wrong information. Usually if one of these sensors does go bad, you're gonna get another code. Although sometimes it can fail and you don't get a code for it, but very likely if one of those sensors fail, you'll get another code. And then you know there's an issue with that, you can go test that sensor and be sure it's working good because the first thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that that EGR valve has gone bad and just needs to be replaced. It might be having some kind of issue and it's not working the way it's supposed to be working. One thing to note about these EGR valves is that they can't be electronically controlled and they can also be vacuum controlled. Like I said before, it's going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad EGR valve. The next thing that might cause this is that the EGR valve has become all clogged up or one of the passages is clogged. But usually if those passages become all clogged up, you're going to get another code like a P0401 code or something like that that's saying flow restricted. With this code, it's saying flow excessive. So very likely this isn't the cause, but it is very common for these EGR valves to become all clogged up. And so there might be some kind of issue going on with that. There's a lot of times just taking it apart and cleaning up the EGR valve and any passages that are going into the engine and things along these lines that might be restricting flow. And that often solves a lot of problems. But like I said, usually when that happens, you're gonna get another code. But the next thing on the list is that that EGR valve is clogged. And the next thing on the list is that if that EGR valve is electronically controlled, there might be some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. So if you check everything else out and you can't seem to find the issue, you can get schematics for your particular vehicle and check and be sure that there's no opens or shorts or anything wrong inside the wiring. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue inside the wiring. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad vacuum hose going to the EGR valve. And this is going to be for older vehicles that use vacuum to control the EGR valve. Like I said before, most newer vehicles are going to be electronically controlled with wires going to it. But older vehicles have a vacuum hose that goes to the EGR valve that's controlling it. So you can go check that hose going to it. Be sure that it has vacuum, that it hasn't come off, it's not clogged or anything like this. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad vacuum. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0402 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.